Thanks for checking out this movie review. So yeah, let's get into Avengers Endgame, but no spoilers. I'm telling you right up front, there are no spoilers in this. So for that reason, I'm probably not going to be able to say a lot about the film because I want to make sure that I don't give up much of anything because people should experience for themselves this film, uh, especially because a lot of the people are did what I'm sure I did. I watched all the movies in this Marvel uh, saga, I guess, this one long, huge story that comes to a culmination with Avengers Endgame, and we all know it, so no one should spoil anything, so I'm not spoiling anything for that reason. So, I'm going to be as vague as I can, but actually tell you what I thought, so we'll see. I do have to make a correction, though. I did not see Captain Marvel yet, but I was told by someone who did see it, you probably don't have to have seen it in order to see Endgame. So I will eventually see Captain Marvel. I just didn't have time to get to the theater, and I wanted to make sure I hit Endgame as soon as possible because spoilers are an issue, although people have been pretty good about it for the most part. I had one small thing spoiled for me, but I already had an inkling that it may happen, so yeah. And that's kind of how the film was. Uh, overall, I thought they did a really good job with the writing. It was really well executed. Obviously, it looks amazing. Like all the other films, the acting is really, really good. Minus Mark Ruffalo, he's so bad. But I will say this, he is much better in Endgame than in any other of the films. So he stepped it up for this one, but he's still not great. It's just a lot better than he had been. So I was like, I still don't like you, Mark Ruffalo, but... Kind of golf clap, like, good job, I guess. Uh, but everyone did, everyone else did an amazing job. Like, cinematography's awesome. Directing's awesome. Uh, the only weird thing for me is, kind of early on in the film, I felt like there were a bunch of musical choices that kind of didn't go. And it was kind of weird, because they're usually right on with stuff. But that kind of faded away as the film went on. I'd say probably in the first, like, half hour to 45 minutes and it's an, a little over three hour film so the first half hour 45 minutes there's some music that's just kind of like that's a little weird but after that it settles right back in it's what you expect uh musically so um yeah the writing was good uh, there were some things that i expected that were actually in there or theorized that were in there but there were definitely surprises at the same time things that i just did not see coming and that's great writing uh the fact that I was still surprised, even though I had some good ideas going into it, like it could really be this, it could really be this. Uh, it was good. Um, there are key moments, if you haven't seen it yet, uh, there are three key moments to go to the bathroom uh, that were written about in an article I read before going, because I wanted to make sure I didn't l miss too much. And uh, I did utilize uh, two of those times, actually, because one time it was on, on the earlier end, and the other time I was like, uh, I've got like a little over an hour left. I should just go real quick because this is my indicator. Uh, just get everything out of my bladder so I'm ready and I can just finish this out and be comfortable. So I wasn't taking chances. So those moments, if people want to know, and that doesn't spoil anything, when there's a title card that says San Francisco, when there's a tar title card that says New Jersey, and when the Hulk is eating lunch. So there you go. Those are the moments that are the best. But there are a few other good times, but I think that it's not really out there that those are good times to go to the bathroom because it, you would have to indicate something that is spoilery at that time. So that's why that stuff's not out there. But, I mean, just be your own judge, to be honest. Like, you can kind of feel when it's slowing down and, and you know, know where the, where the film's kind of going to go for the most part. So you can feel that out for yourself. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's... It's a good flick. Uh, I feel like it was um, a good way to wrap things up. I felt very satisfied with it, although I did find two kind of big plot holes in it. But at the same time, when I like kind of rationalized it for myself after the fact, just rethinking about it, I was like, you know, if they had changed, like tweaked things a little bit uh, in previous movies, which, you know, could have easily been done, then they're not actually plot holes. So the fact that such little things could have changed that and could have fixed it. I was able to kind of think about it more and just be like, that's okay. You know, I can, I can look past it. I can. Because what they achieved here is kind of monumental, to be honest. For them to have taken 20-some movies and create an entire saga out of it, basically, one big story, and then cap it off the way they did. And it is satisfying. It's very satisfying. Um, kudos. I mean, great job. You know, Disney, mainly Kevin Feige, who's the one who had this vision, all the directors, all the actors, everyone who's been involved with it, all the people on set, 
you know everything that's gone into it and the cg the cg is always amazing like it, it always computer graphics great so yeah so um really good stuff it's a roller coaster of a film too um there's ups there's downs you're all over the place and one of the greatest things for me was the comedic moments it's you know it's a marvel film they always put those comedic moments in there and there are some times where i feel like the comedy throughout other films it doesn't hit like it's like you get it that they're supposed to be funny at that moment but you're like it's not funny like i think ant-man and wasp is a perfect example for me personally i watched it actually kind of recently and i was like yeah there are a lot of jokes that just don't hit but i will say in endgame like everything that was supposed to be funny was legitimately funny and one of my favorite scenes in the film is a funny scene and they're just so well executed so that's not easy to do especially when you're trying to mix it into an action film a superhero film that has drama action all that stuff it's hard to integrate it and integrate it at a point where it doesn't feel like a speed bump while you're going through the film and just be like whoa that didn't make sense or that's out of kilter or whatever so they did an outstanding job with that the action is amazing as people can um imagine because you've seen other stuff and um yeah it's just uh it should be experienced, and um, if there's anyone out there who's like, I think I want to see Endgame, but I haven't seen a whole lot of Marvel movies, don't do it. Don't do it, because you're going to miss a lot of stuff. There's a lot of nostalgia that's baked into this final film. Like, with actual scenes, there's a lot of nostalgia that comes up. Like, a lot of old references going throughout the films, and you don't want to miss out on that. You just don't. So go through, watch all of them, is what I would recommend, and... Yeah, then watch Endgame, and you will be quite satisfied. So in the end, uh, in summation, I think this isn't like a perfect film. Like I said, there were some plot holes. There were some some real down times in it where I was like, wow, we're going kind of slow here, slower than I would think. And there's um, there's a portion towards the middle of the movie that I, was, I got kind of disinterested in, to be honest. I know people are saying this film's so tight, it's actually hard to find a spot to go to the bathroom. It's not that tight. Like, there, there is some stuff that really drags, but, you know. Um, and one of the other really great things is that they do a really good job of making it seem realistic how people deal with things after the events of Infinity War. Like, personally, and in the world they're in at that point, uh, the, the setting, the backdrop looks appropriate. The way people are emotionally and mentally is appropriate how they handle things is appropriate. It all makes sense. It's all very realistic. So they did a really good job with that. For that reason, during those parts, it is kind of slow, but I didn't have a problem with that. There just are other parts where I did have a problem with the slowness because I was like, eh, doesn't make sense. But um, I'd say overall, out of five stars, this is a four and a half star film because I'm not doing quarters. So I would say four and a half stars and honestly, not too far away from five, in my opinion. Um, but... No, nah, it can't be five for me because five is perfect. It wasn't perfect, but it was really good. So I would give it that four and a half. So uh, hopefully if you have not seen it, you do get a, the chance to see it relatively soon and you hear no spoilers because no spoilers, people. So, And I will say that when I was in the theater, people were very respectful. People weren't making too many noises or anything like that. Uh, there was one person who I heard their text message noise go off at the very beginning, and I was like, ooh. And I was like, if it happens one more time, I'm going to have words with that person. I'm literally going to say, shut it off uh, out loud. But it didn't happen. They were they were good. It's just someone who forgot. They took care of it, so that's fine. Um, although one thing that did bother me is that, like, I know people want to get back to the movie and everything, but both times I went to the bathroom during the film – there was another person in there. It wasn't the same person each time, but there was another person in there. They used the urinal and then just walked right out. Okay, I understand you don't want to miss much in the movie, but at the same time, you're just touching yourself and nobody wants to touch things after you touch yourself and then touch those things. That's disgusting. Be sanitary. That's, that's freaking gross. Do you want to touch someone else's thing? I don't think so. So no one wants to touch your thing juices, man. Don't do it. So anyway, that's just my little rant. But thank you for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. I hope everyone really enjoys Endgame because I did. And I think I'm going to go back and see it uh, probably with my wife. Um, it's an experience. It really is. And I like how they did it. Um, oh, and one, one final, final thing. 
there were a few shots they framed uh, toward the end of it that I think really made a strong statement as to a direction, a few directions they're looking to go in with the next phase of Marvel movies as far as who these superheroes are going to be when they introduce new ones. So that's cool. Be out, be in the lookout, on the lookout for that. So thank you once again, and until next time, keep it brutal.